some super simple elephant ears cookies and it only needs three ingredients you'll be able to make these if you've got some unexpected guests that are coming to your house you'll be able to have these on the table within about 15 minutes so I'm going to show you how to make that recipe right now so all you're going to need for this recipe is a piece of puff pastry I've just thawed this for about five minutes so it is nice and bendy and flexible and it's still on the plastic so keep it on the plastic if you can because we're going to be rolling this in a minute and make sure it's vegan puff pastry so no egg or dairy in this particular pastry that I'm using today and what you need next is some coconut sugar or you could also use some brown sugar or raw sugar if you like but I like the um, taste that the coconut sugar gives this. It's very caramelly and delicious. So just get a teaspoon and spread this across. Okay, now that this is done, I'm just going to use my fingers just to spread it evenly and just Push it into the pastry just a little bit as you go. And you're almost done. This is such a hard recipe to do. Okay, so next I'm going to put some cinnamon. You can leave the cinnamon off if you don't like cinnamon and use other spices or you could crush up some nuts and put them in up to you but this simple basic recipe is just coconut sugar and cinnamon so just sprinkle cinnamon evenly across the entire piece okay done while you're doing this to just preheat your oven to 175 degrees celsius or 350 degrees fahrenheit and Next, we are going to be rolling this. So you just want to loosen this off on the edge and start rolling it over. And just remember where the halfway point is. You might want to just do a little cut in there. And just gently keep rolling this till you're at the halfway mark. And then we're going to the, do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Just gently push it together a little bit. Now if you like you can brush this with a bit of non-dairy milk or a little bit of water but I think this is moist enough for my liking just because it has just thawed out. So now we'll be cutting this into sections and then laying it on our um, lined baking sheet and getting it in the oven. Okay, so let's cut these. Probably want to cut these about a quarter of an inch thick. Okay. Now just lift these off and place them on a non-stick baking sheet. And leave a little bit of space in between just to allow them to expand as they puff up. Okay, now that these are all laid out, they're ready to go in the oven. And I'm gonna bake these for about 12 minutes and then check them and they should be done. 
hot and ready and good to eat. Okay, 12 minutes is up. I'm going to turn this oven off. And oh, mm, they smell really, really good. Ooh, what a quick and easy snack. These are delicious. I've got people just about to arrive. They will love these. If not, I'll love these and I'll have them all. So, mm, give these a taste test. Oh, hot. Mmm, so yummy. Mmm, that caramelized sugar and the cinnamon, that beautiful puff pastry. Mm, these are just fantastic. Hope you love them as much as I do. Let me know what you think. And I will see you for the next recipe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other videos. Bye for now. Mm.